Hello people, James Ellington here, Olympic GB Sprinter, Life Plus Ambassador, and I'm here today to give Malcolm some lessons on how to make a real smoothie. Well, competitive nature coming out, sorry about that. <laughs> right, so the smoothie I'm gonna make is gonna be a banana and nut protein shake. People think athletes are crazy, so I'm gonna make this name up right this second, and we're gonna call it the banana protein shake. The banana, I love that. I like that. Right, like so that. we've got a banana in there, we've got nuts, um, healthy fats, and we've got plenty of energy. So normally I'd use this shake in the morning before I go to training. Okay. Uh, if I don't want to have a traditional breakfast, I want the energy, but I don't want to fill myself up too much. Yeah. So we start off with some oat milk. The reason why I'm going to put this in first is because when I put the rest of the ingredients in, I don't want it to get stuck in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And you, you get the protein around the cup, you know what I mean? So put that in first, whole banana, that goes in. Followed by some cashew nuts. I'll put those in there. Followed by some peanut butter. Crunchy or smooth? I think either. I've chosen crunchy there, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I just think with the extra bits of nuts in there, it just seems the better option, so. Now, do you always use oat milk? If I've got a long session coming up, I tend to use half water, half milk. Um, because when you've got a belly full of milk, right. you're not going to feel great at training. So it's personal preference, really. And sometimes you use cow's milk, or is it always oat milk? I'd normally use oat milk or almond milk. Right, okay. okay. Yeah, or water. So we'll throw it in now, put that in. And then we're going to add our brown solace, our raw cacao and mushroom, which is one of my personal favourites. And then we're going to add some of our bee refueled protein, which is flavourless because we've got all the flavour in there already. So add one scoop to that. Depending on how much protein intake you want, you might add two. Yeah. But um, normally this is like a pre-training recipe, so I'm not going to go too crazy. Cheers. Cheers. Good help. Oof, tastes good. That does taste good. That has got everything about it. Banana and nuts. Banana. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so what how what would your four hour training session typically comprise of? Would it would it be just running up and down? <clears throat> so really normally, quickly? it's crazy because the warm up would normally be an hour and a half. Which most people would think would be a training session, the amount of drills and different bits and pieces you do. Um, <clears throat> and then we'd normally do like a solid running session after that which could be anything between repetitions of speed with short recoveries up, up to 300 meter repetitions right. with longer recovery. And then we go into the gym and we do our gym session, which would be squats, power cleans, Olympic lifts. We do pre-exercises, which are gonna prevent injury. Right, I'm assuming that's stretching. There's, there's stretching involved, there's proprioception, walking in the sand pit, there's okay. core stability, it's, you name it, it's there. Um, that's the tedious part. You've done the main session, you want to kind of go and chill, but it has to be done. Ice bath? Do you have an ice bath? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But living here right now, it's like I'm in the ice bath every day. So yeah, right. that's, that's, that's my way of getting out of the actual yeah, ice right. bath. Yeah, right, there you go, that works, <laughs> that's great. Well, that's lovely, that. Thank you very much. Brilliant, nice. So that was the banata, which consisted of brown solace, which was the raw cacao and mushroom powder, uh, banana, cashews, flavorless protein, peanut butter and oat milk. I know it was a bit of a mouthful. We got there in the end. Yeah, absolutely delicious, yeah, I loved it. Uh, nice one, thank you. Good stuff.